I'm here today at Oma Leisure Complex to see the vaccination programme being rolled out. In Fermanagh and Oma District Council, we say stronger together. And today I'm really seeing that work stronger together with the stakeholders in this operation to implement the vaccine programme. I'm really, really pleased to see the success of this programme. The 65 plus age group is here and the feedback I'm getting is that people are genuinely relieved to come in and they definitely feel that they're at a positive step in the recovery process coming out of this pandemic. However, we still need to follow the guidelines of hand, face, space and asking everybody to look ahead to brighter days, to keep safe and to thank those who are all involved in this mammoth effort at both Oma Leisure Complex and from Anna Legden Forum. We have volunteers, we have student nurses, we have health trust staff, retired members and of course the council staff. I just want to say a huge thank you on behalf of the council to everybody involved in this operation. Stay safe, together we are stronger, thank you. We're in Oma Leisure Centre today, one of our three mass vaccination centres in the West. One is up in the Derry City and Straban District Council area of the Foyle Arena, and the other two are down here in the Fermanagh and Oma District Council Lakeland Forum in Enniskillen and here in Oma Leisure Centre. Today we're really busy here in Oma Leisure Centre, and you'll see with a number of people who are behind me here waiting on their vaccination. This wouldn't have been possible without the multi-agency partnership working that we have in the West for so long. But particularly over the last year, uh, we have worked very closely with all of our partners to ensure that the Mass Vaccination Centre, as we set up for the 21st of December, provided the best possible experience for our patients and our clients as we move forward in our vaccination programme. I want to particularly thank Fermanagh and Oma District Council for their collaborative working with us and also our other multi-agency partners, including, for example, our rural transport, who have helped us take our most vulnerable into the mass vaccination centres safely. Also to our population, thank you for your patience um, as we move through the vaccination programme. We want to continue with the message of con continuing to stay safe um, follow the guidance, follow the messages as we move ahead together and collaboratively through this vaccination programme. Hello, my name is Anne Keenan, um, Pharmacy. I'd just like to thank all the staff that have made this vaccination campaign possible. Um, we have the staff that are here in the vaccination centres, which include administration and clerical staff, um, transport, support services for the cleaning, pharmacy and all our peer vaccinators and um, clinical leads. There's so many people that work outside the vaccination centres to make this possible as well um, and that includes people from finance, HR, occupational health, um, so many different people. So I just want to thank them all on behalf of everyone here and um, that support the delivery of this very successful vaccination campaign and we will continue to work tirelessly until um, all the vaccinations are delivered. We've been running our vaccination programme now since mid-December and in that time we've vaccinated over 32,000 people um, in the Western Trust area. We have vaccinated in our care homes, in our supportive living units and in our mass vaccination centres across multiple sites across the Trust geography. We're vaccinating approximately 1,000 people per day in our mass vaccination centres um, and that includes our health and social care staff, our community and voluntary sector partners, um, our, some of our clinically extremely vulnerable hospital patients, and now our 65 to 69 year old population of our trust. It's been very successful to date. I would encourage anyone who's in any of the eligible groups to book on to any of our vaccination centres and to avail of the vaccine.